going on you guys? Uh, I've got another guitar lesson for you. This is going to be the last guitar lesson on rhythm guitar. After this we're going to be getting into leads and uh, vibrato, tapping, sweep arpeggios, pinch harmonics, all that stuff. So anyway, this one's going to be all about picking patterns as I like to call them. And uh, if you haven't already checked out my previous lessons, you know, you got to go check them out. And uh, be sure to check out my website too. It's redsgshredder.com. I've got a lot of information there. And uh, as always, if you want to play along, uh, tune all my strings down. So I'm tuned to D. All right, so most metal songs just use um, certain patterns. Like one of the most common ones is just a bunch of single notes, something like this. Yeah, so I mean, that's pretty simple. I mean, you can figure that out yourself. But um, another common one is uh, what I like to call doubles, which is just two notes in rapid succession. And they usually come so fast that you gotta like, you know, do alternate picking. Just pick one and right after the other. So um, I got a couple examples. First song is a uh, it's a song called Humiliative by Mi uh, Mishuga. So it goes like this. So that's some uh, picking pattern that can help you out uh, with your right hand. And a uh, second example is a uh, song by the uh, metal band. Uh, it's called Decapitated. The name of the song is Spheres of Madness. Spheres of Madness, excuse me. <laughs> and so that riff kind of goes like this. And um, the next type of um, pattern is triplets. A lot of people have trouble with them because, you know, they're kind of hard to play fast. Um, and all a triplet is just three notes in succession. Um, so you gotta do like up down up down or excuse me up down up or down up down and um, you know that's all it is is a triple you know just three notes I like to split triplets into uh, two different types of categories and they're exactly the same thing but just for my purposes I like to think of them in two different ways um, the first is when you just have one single note and then triplet 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 and then the second one is just without that one single note just triplet 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 so let me give you a quick example. The first example is when you have one note and then a bunch of triplets. Uh, a good example is the song Battery by Metallica. So um, you can see that one note right there first. That's one. So just one and then triplet, triplet. You know. And then um, if you just take away that one opening note, you have pretty much the same thing, just triplets, but it just sounds a little bit different. Um, a good song is um, the Lamb of God song, it's called Hourglass, and it goes like this, something like that. Still don't know how to play that song like that. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about speed picking a little bit. Uh, probably the most difficult thing with speed picking is just staying on beat and, you know, still playing fast. Um, it's just one of those things that you got to practice a bit. and. Um, as I said in the previous lesson, you got to make sure that you're playing clean and playing on beat. It's okay, you know, to play a little bit slower. If you need to play slow at first, then build your speed up. Just don't play sloppy. Don't play fast if you can't play at that level yet. You know, there's no shame in, you know, building your way up. The only thing that's bad is when you try to play something that's beyond your level and you sound bad. <laughs> so, um, yeah, one thing I like to do um, to just uh, really kind of build up the speed, or one thing I like to do um, is to experiment with the picking angle. Um, as I talked about in the last video, I like to you know use a 45 degree angle right here. Another thing you can do is really experiment with the angle of your wrist here. Um, I usually do something kind of like, uh, I don't know what that is, maybe like a 35 degree angle or something like that. And uh, it's just meant to be comfortable and easy. So, you know, do what works for you. I've seen some guys, you know, do it like completely, like, um, you know, just a regular 180 degree angle, or, you know, no angle, whatever you call it. They just play kind of like that. Um, do whatever's comfortable for you, whatever, like, uh, you know, feels like it can give you the most control and the most speed out of it. Um, so there's that. And then, um, you know, you can build your way up on the different types of speed picking. So, um, really easy example here, well, not an easy example, but a common example of speed picking would be the Metallica song, Whiplash. And so, um, if you know that song, it goes like this. So, it, you know, it's just kind of fast picking, but it's not too fast. So, um, you know, give that a shot. And, you know, the main thing, once again, is just be on time. And don't try to just play it the nose as fast as you can, because you don't want to do something like this. So what I'm 
I'm trying to say here is, you know, don't just pick the open notes as fast as you can, the palm muted notes as fast as you can, and then just play the rest of the song upon time. You gotta, you know, make sure you're doing the right types of notes. I think they're like 16th notes or something like that. And um, another uh, really good example is gonna be something like that. Another fast palm muted song, but it's a little bit faster, is gonna be the uh, Sepultura song. It's called Arise. This one's a lot harder, so um, forgive me if I uh, mess it up a little bit. I think it goes like this. Something like that. It's been a while, but um, the point is, you know, you just want to pretty much do the same thing, but just faster and not as crappy as when I play it. <laughs> So, um, you know, make sure you, um, you know, practice that one slow and then slowly build up your way there. Um, and then the last example I have for speed picking is going to be something really fast once again, but this time instead of having it palm muted, we're going to do something uh, non palm muted, like just open strings. So the example I have for you is Demu Borkir, or however you say it. The um, song is uh, Master of Disharmony. And so this one's really simple. It's just two chords. It's just a B flat chord, B flat minor chord, and then an E chord. And you just speed pick them really fast. The thing that makes it kind of difficult is it's like an open string. You don't palm it anything. Um, and so what I like to do for this one is, remember how I said I had like a little angle at my wrist? For open, just tremolo picking, like, or excuse me, just speed picking type stuff with no palm eating, I like to just make my wrist like a full 90 degree angle. And then I just you know, pound away at it and just kind of twist the wrist really fast. I find that gives a lot of power and makes things, um, you know, you can do a lot of speed with it. You know, you don't really need to be as um, precise with that because it's just, you know, just speed picking it. So it's, that song sounds like this. <laughs> okay, and so for the last type of examples I'm going to be showing you, it's just uh, like some general riffs that I think might help you um, build up your uh, right hand uh, syncopated types of riffs, which just means, you know, kind of a complicated rhythms or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, uh, you know, just got some, they, all these uh, examples have just got some weird kind of uh, patterns in there. They use triplets, they sometimes use doubles and so on and so forth, um, and they're all kind of mixed around in there. So, uh, well, for all these examples, you know, learn them and then build up your speed slowly. So, here's an example, it's the uh, Metallica song, it's called Disposable Heroes. But uh, depending on who you ask, it could also be, you know, debatable if it's a Megadeth song. <laughs> if you heard that song, She-Wolf, it's got the same riff in it, so Dave Hussain probably wrote it. Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, the riff for the Metallica song, the uh, Disposable Heroes on the Master Puppets album, it goes like this. Play those triplets and make sure to downpick the uh, parts that aren't triplets. Uh, another example is going to be the uh, Fear Factory song Shock, um, and this one uses a lot of triplets, so it sounds like this. And then the last example I have for you is going to be the Meshuga song. It's called the uh, Future uh, Breed Machine. And so that one doesn't, well, I don't know if it has triplets, but I'll let you uh, just check it out. So it sounds like this. It's like the, um, kind of like the middle riff in there. So it goes like this. Something like that. Alright you guys, well that's it for the uh, rhythm series of guitar lessons. Like I said, coming up next is just going to be lead guitar. We'll be going over a bunch of different stuff, so um, be sure to uh, review the old lessons because um, now we're going to get into some uh, pretty technical stuff. So, <laughs> Alright you guys, well thanks for watching. Peace. Thanks for watching.